Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Football Manager. This episode we take on SK Rapid Wayne. Um, I would try and pronounce this stadium, but I can't. Uh, the Jehad Nahapi Stadion, uh, their home ground. The starting lineup for today is Pedro checking goal. In defence we have David Luiz, Aldo Wilder, Decided to go Bruma and Jockin Says as well. Centre midfield we have Kevin De Bruyne and Lampard. The two attack midfielders for us is Hazard and Kakuta with two strikes up front this time with uh, Loriente and Falcao. Uh, big news concerning Loriente and Falcao after this match. But as you can see from our group, uh, the first match we had we lost to Paris Saint-Germain. Second match we beat Borussia Dortmund. That was a key match to, for us to win. So I think if we can get a win, in theory we could possibly go up to first in our group if we win this. If Paris Saint-Germain win their match we'll have uh, a three point lead over Borussia Dortmund. But in terms on the bench we got De Stegen, Niagwe, Chilene, Dion Carroll, Witzel, Ecclesley and Oscar. A youthful setup in terms of the uh, substitutes bench. A few key players who if I had them available I probably would have uh, played them. But in terms of the team talk, Kuta seemed motivated to Brune, Alder, Wilder and Falcao look happy. Right, it'll be interesting to see how Loriente and uh, Falcao play up front, because I can't remember the last time that I've played two strikers up front in this type of formation. I'm hoping the fact that I've got a few players who aren't first team regulars playing for me, that they'll do well, because the match against Brighton in the Cup 1 Cup, you know, we had a better team and we should have beaten, but we didn't, and Loriente with a fantastic goal. Very nice. See, this match for me, I want, I want us to get a good result, build up momentum, go into the next match, because the fixtures we've got coming up, they're realistic fixtures that we could, we could win every single one of them if we perform well. And I think I've got the team that can do it. I, I am going to be strengthening with the fact that we've got the likes of Zumba joining for £28.5 million. Whether or not he'll get into the first team, as stupid as it sounds, me spending that amount of money on him, for him might not even get straight into the first team. He might not get into the first team, but we shall see. This jockey says to Kevin De Bruyne, he's been uh, scouted by AC Milan quite a lot so far this season. Olympic Marseille were interested as well, but AC Milan seems to be the team who are following the most. This is Hazard, he's got room, whips it in. Loriente's there, beautiful. Loriente, the real Loriente, showed up to this one. Second goal of the game. Has it well to get that little bit of space? Very nice cross. Loriente beat two players to the ball for that. Fantastic. Hazard, corner headed away in Skakuta. Shot saved. <laughs> Double shot saved. Loriente 8.7 right now. My word. Paris Saint-Germain I think are beating Dortmund as well 2-0 right now. Uh, we'll have a look at the match stats. Crikey, 22 opportunities. 13 on target, that's pretty good. Possession wise, we're doing very good. Player rating as well. Average player rating for us right now is a lot higher than theirs. Very nice. Right, we'll go uh, passionate. Falcao, I'm not going to lie, I'm not happy with his performance. Oh, he looks stressed, okay. Um, everyone condition rating wise, uh, alright. Kidoki, we'll start the second half. To be honest, I'd rather have a 2 0 win than a 3 1 win. At least with a 2 0 win, you, you kept the clean sheet, which was always a bonus. So far, they haven't had no major threats, but now I've said that, they most probably will have a chance. And they nearly did. <laughs> Sods Law. Loriente heads it down to Hazard though. Hazard has been really good so far this season. Every season so far I've had this uh, this campaign going for Chelsea. Hazard's been awesome. Has a few bad games now and again but awesome player overall. De Bruyne's got it though. He's found David Luiz. Loriente header hit the woodwork. Right. We're going to make a substitution. We'll get Hazard off. And we'll put Kakuta on the left and Ecclesley on the right. 
Ecclesley had a few games for me uh, last season, I think it was, but his stats have got pretty good, like, considering he had all right stats to begin with. He is definitely worth the £500,000 that I spent on him. Right, we're going to get Lorienté off because he's getting tired. And I want him 100% for the next match. So we'll put Kakuta up front. I know Kakuta isn't a striker, but I reckon he could do. Okay, we'll put De Bruyne attacking left. Dion Carroll, left centre. Give some of the young talent a go. This is Lippa with the goal kick down. De Bruyne's been beaten to it. Some of the players' names. Vulcan Slinger. Oh, shit. Wrath with the goal. God damn it. So good. We got 2 1. We got 2 1 lead. Good goal over. Uh, see, they're completely open. God damn. Good finish. Right, we've got one more substitution, so we shall get out of the will. Actually, no, we'll get David Luiz off and uh, get Niagua. Come on, if we lose, if we draw this match, I'm going to be mad as. Fuck. <laughs> Pile of my language, but I'm going to be mad as hell. Three minutes of extra time. Carol, good interception. It's found Kakuta Falcao. Oh, Falcao nearly. Still got possession. Finds Lampard. Lampard's got room. Carol again. Now Lampard. Nice idea to try and find, I think, Niagara on the wing, but. It's all good. As long as we're keeping them under pressure. This is Niagara. Kakuta. Ah, beautiful. That's surely game set and match. And fancy that Kakuta getting a goal for us. Niagua with a good little chip. Kakuta headed it down. Good control. What a finish. That's a quality finish and he's not even a striker. I'm considering probably giving him a chance up front. You never know. Come up to the last few seconds of this match. I think overall from this match it was an okay performance. We did well. Shot way off target. Referee's going to blow his whistle. And there we go, full time. In terms of match stats, we had 33 opportunities, 16 on target. One click chance, we had 56% possession. Our pass completion was 82%, tackles won 81%, and headers won 85%. The average rating for a player for them was 6.73, and the average rating for a player for us was 7.30, so we had a, probably 0 0.7 more, no, more than a whole point, sorry, so that was pretty good. Best player for them though, Heidenreich Wrath, I think that's his name, 7.3 rating and got a goal, came on as a substitute as well. Uh, Loriente 8.8 .8 rating. We got two goals. Kakuta 8.6 and got a goal. No, this guy was the best player. Man of the match 9.0 rating. Adanished. Well, he had a very good game 9.0. But overall, I'm pleased with that. We got a 3 0 win. Would have probably preferred a uh, 2 0 win than a 3 1. But a 3 1 win still a good result. Awesome. And that definitely that helps us out a lot. In terms of league tables, you can see Paris Saint Germain beat uh, Dortmund 3 1. So that is de that's given us a, a three point lead over third place. Paris Saint Germain three points ahead of us. I think we can p catch Paris Saint Germain. Kurzels Bayern Munich 2 all draw. AC Milan 3 0 loss to Fenerbahce. Valencia 3 2 against Ajax. United 1. Barcelona 3 0 against Olympiacos. Hmm. Plus, we got given £869,000 for winning that match, so that's uh, pretty good. Right, we'll do this.
Crikey, getting a lot of questions right now. Right, I've offered out Pete Pet a check, uh, simply because, you know, I've offered to stay in a new contract. He's going to sign that new contract. Uh, I've got Core Toys as well, and, you know, if I hold on to check, we'll just have a look and see how much he wants. Well, he, he doesn't even want to negotiate a contract with me. I think he wanted £170,000. £170,000 for a goalkeeper who... De Stegen's new contract, I think, is like 130000 So I'd be spending £300,000 a month just on two goalkeepers. So I've decided if I can try and get a good price for Czech, who's interested? Everton, Southampton and Stoke. I'm not sure if he would join any of them, but we shall see. But our next match is against Sunderland, a Premiership match. That's at home, so I'll we'll have the home crowd advantage for that one. Uh, just remind myself of the league table, Sunderland 13th right now. As you can see, we're currently 7th, 8 games played, 13 points. Tottenham at 8 games played, 20 points, so 7 point lead already. We need to start catching up because it's not even halfway through the half first half of the season. And we're falling behind, but that's all for this episode, guys. Thank you for watching. If you like this episode, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time.